Hello, how are you doing? I'm back with my monthly setup. After skipping April, I was eager to share with you my pages again and the process behind all those finished spreads you can enjoy on Instagram, where I share pages by pages and some extra content. Today, I'm using lots of materials, specifically different colors and different brands for my markers. Please take a look at my description box if you're curious about a specific shade I'm using. Now let's dive into today's theme. You may or may not know this one, since it's actually from a game called Cozy Grove. I really, really enjoy those accounts full of cozy desk setups with cool computers and people enjoying their little games, whether it's on the PC or a console. In my case, I'm playing this game on my Nintendo Switch Lite, but I know for sure that you can play it even on your PC. I was actually lucky to find it on sale on the Nintendo shop, but it's not a pricey one to begin with. I found this game during my COVID days. I couldn't work and was staying in bed almost all day. Tivu was beginning to feel boring and I needed something to distract myself from the illness. I was searching through all those gaming accounts on Instagram when I stumbled upon someone recommending on sale games. This one caught my eyes for its design and I went for it. Best decision ever. I fell in love and I was able to enjoy my recovery time. I still to play it and look forward each time I turn on the console. It's a cozy game, just like its name. You are stranded on a land full of ghosty bears and you need to help them recover their lost memories. There's different characters and you unlock them little by little, and each time you do so, you access a new part of the island. You are given little cute tasks by the bears and you can decorate your island alongside. It's designed so that you can play a certain amount each day, so you can look forward to the next day to discover more and play more. I am not the best at explaining, but I will leave the link of the game down below in case you want to know more or play it. My theme will be entirely based on this game, from illustrations and cute silly characters to the functional part, such as the calendar itself or the habit trackers boxes that takes from the design of the windows that pop up when you play the game, or even the others inspired by the speech bubbles. I tried to be as close as I could to the reference, but I had to simplify the color range, even if you see me using tons of markers. The setup of my pages takes after my April theme, where I included the brain dump page beside the cover page and ended up with 6 pages dedicated to my monthly setup, and the leftover for my weeklies and my extra ones. Even though I feel like the pages I set up with you are not a lot, I can spend more time on them and pay attention to them. At the end of the day, I can't make a 30 minutes video for a bullet journal setup. Usually my videos are watched for an average of 5 minutes, so I can't stretch it out too much. It would be a waste of time for me especially. I do have a love slash hate relationship with YouTube. I feel like I never grasp the way it really works. I'm not here asking for thousands of subscribers or views after views, although it would be nice, but I'm always more convinced that my content gets lost, as if I'm not able to reach my true audience. 
This does not mean that I will stop sharing content with you. I really love to be able to communicate with you and sharing my life and passion with you, but sometimes it can be tiring, because uploading a video takes days of work, multiple software, expensive supplies, etc. etc. If you are a fellow content creator here, do you have any suggestions on how I can work smarter or have you noticed something that I lack or am I doing wrong? It's been 4 years and I feel like I'm stuck. Anyway, I hope this small talk didn't get you depressed. <laughs> Please enjoy the rest of the video and check out the info box to take a look at the game. See you in my next video, subscribe if you feel like, stay safe and bye bye!
Thank you.